to the new video in the bot modeling tutorial series. Today we'll extend a hello world bot so that it can use external services. Therefore, we will let our bot use a less superior weather service, which returns the weather for a given city. The service itself is already pre-prepared, and something to note is that the services that are to be used by the bot expect a specific response format. For more information on the expected format, you can always check out the bot modeling wiki in the description below. So, we will first change the bot's conversation a bit. This time around, instead of asking the user if they are doing fine today, we will let the bot ask the users if they would like to know about the weather. So we could quickly change that. And now, in case the user wants to know about the weather, does the user's confirmation, the bot will ask the user for which city they would like to know the weather of. And for that, we just need to change the chat response. Now we need a new intent to represent the cities. That is why we quickly go to the Analu modeling page. Here we can add the we can add the intent with the name city. And something to note is that the weather function we will be using today will expect a parameter called city name in the request. For that purpose, we can use entities. Entities are defined as structured pieces of information inside the user's message. In that sense, we could also see entities as variables, which can be set by the user in the message. And in our case, we could define city name as a variable. To do so, we need to use following syntax. We start off with square brackets, in which we will write the entity example, thus the city name. So in our case, this could be Aachen. And in round brackets, we write the entity name, which is the variable name. So in our case, that would be city name. We can now add two more simple examples like that. But it's also possible to add these entities in sentence examples. So for example, like, Given the city for uh, city name, or something even longer, like I would like to know the weather of then the city name afterwards. Of course, there are more things one could do with entities. We will only tackle this aspect today. But for more information, you can always check out the RASA documentation. We'll now submit the language model. And like always, while it's being trained, we can go back to the bot modeling page to work on our bot model. So right now, our model is at the stage of expecting the city name. Thus, to model the user's answer, the city name, we need a new incoming message element. We connect the previous incoming message element with the new one using the leads to arrow. And in the leads to label, we write the city intent. Now to model the bot's response, we again need a chat response element, which we add. And again, use the triggers arrow to connect the incoming message to the chat response. At this point, we would like the bot to fetch the weather from the service. We'll thus need a bot action element which represents the function that the bot will call. Now we first need to connect the bot element to the bot action element with performs, as the bot will, so to say, perform the bot action. But we also need to connect the bot action to the messenger element, as the bot action will use the messenger to extract information about the user. For this specific function call, we also need a, a, an authentication token. There's a static parameter, and for that purpose, we have the action parameter element, which we add to the canvas. <coughs> and for regarding the relationships, we need to connect the bot action to the action parameter with has, as the bot action will have the parameter. Finally, the chat response will get its text message from the bot action. Thus, 
it should use the broad action to extract the direct response. That is why we will connect chat response and broad action with users. At this point, we still need to fill out some parameters. First of all, for the bot action itself, we need to select the service type. As we will be using an open API service, we simply choose the option open API. For the function name, we simply need to input the operation ID of the function we will call. For that, we can simply query the Swagger JSON file and find the operation ID of our function. In our case, this will be get well about. <coughs> now, the service alias will be the base URL which is required to make the HTTP calls to the service, which of course I will simply copy paste in here. Now, for the action parameter itself, we first need to check that it's a static parameter. The name will be the attribute's name, thus, in our case, of token. And the content field simply will be the authentication token, so the actual value of the parameter we need to send to the function. An additional possibility that we have is to send a message before the actual function call. To do so, we can simply go to the chat response before the bot action and fill in the message field. Additionally, what we can do here is make use of the recognized entity in the response. So to do that, we simply need to use square brackets and this, the entity name. So I'll try, all right, I'll try fetching the weather for, and then in square brackets, the city name. So yeah, that should be it for the bot model. And now we can submit it. And once it will be ready, we can go to the rocket chat and check out if the bot responds correctly. Now we see that the bot model is available. So we go to rocket chat and first try greeting the bot. We see that the bot correctly asks me if I want to know about the weather, so let's just say yes. Now he asks me for which uh, city I want to know the weather, so let's try uh, for Brussels, for example, as this was an, in an entity variable that we didn't use in the model itself, but the bot should still be able to recognize it. And we finally see that the bot correctly recognized the city name I wrote and answered with the fitting uh, temperature and even some additional information which was provided by the service. Now, that was it for this tutorial. For additional information, you can always check the bot modeling wiki, the link of which you will find in the description below. Goodbye.